Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Amanda if you're new here and today I am going through all of my product empties and telling you guys which ones are worth it and which ones are not. I have a lot of products here so I'm splitting this video into two parts. One of them is the skincare edition and the next one will be the makeup edition which I will link on the screen for you. Before we get into it, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and also hit the bell notification. It really does help me out more than you know but without further ado, Let's get into it. So I'm gonna try and move through these products relatively quickly. I'm gonna start with moisturizers. The first one I have here is by Ren Clean Skincare. This is their Ever Calm Global Protection Day Cream. And I really loved this cream. I went through it surprisingly quickly because once I started using it, I just couldn't stop using it. I really love clean skincare. I felt like this was a good moisturizer for me, especially in the winter, because I found this to be a richer moisturizer. And I also really gravitated towards this when my skin was kind of acting up a little bit. I just felt like this really soothed my skin really well. So their Evercom line is actually formulated for sensitive skin. So if you have sensitive skin, I would highly recommend this. My skin type is not too sensitive, but on occasion it does act up and I just need something like this to calm it back down. But yeah, I would say this is also good for dry skin. I would definitely repurchase this one. In fact, I have a refill on the way. I really love this cream. The next moisturizer I have is by GoTo Skincare. This is their very useful face cream. And this is another really clean formulation. I think it has an excellent score on Yuka. That's kind of how I rank the cleanliness of my skincare these days. I just put it into Yuka and I scan it. But yeah, I just loved putting this cream on my face. It just felt so nourishing. It's very natural feeling, not chemically at all. It's just super moisturizing and protective like it states. I honestly just really love this brand and so I would definitely, definitely repurchase this. If you're into clean skincare, if you have dry skin, you should definitely try this cream and honestly anything from this brand. If you like clean skincare, this is just such a good brand, I honestly can't recommend it enough. The next moisturizer I have is by Zoe Skin Health. This is their hydrating cream. I found some really good moisturizers lately and honestly, I've run through all of my favorites. So I have good things to say about all of these moisturizers, but this one is really, really good. When I got some laser treatments and facials, I would use this cream during the recovery. This is really good if you have sensitive skin, if you have any skin irritation, this cream is so good. I feel like it's just a classic. It doesn't really have any ingredients that are super extra. It is just a really good nourishing, hydrating, simple, basic cream, which I think is a good thing. I would 100% repurchase this next time I go in to get any laser treatments, which it's been a while since I've done anything like that, honestly. I really need to get back into a routine. But yeah, I will be picking this up because this healed my skin so, so nicely. The next product I have here is by Priori. This is their DNA Intense Recovery Cream. And I have a little bit of mixed opinions on this one. Overall, I do like it, but I felt like this cream I could really only use when my skin was in a certain condition, and that's to be expected because it's a recovery cream. This cream is super rich and thick and heavy, so I would often use this as a night cream, or if my skin was irritated, if I had been like picking at my skin, or if I had dry patches or anything like that, I would use this cream overnight and it would really do wonders for my skin. It took me a long time to run through this because I didn't really love it as an everyday cream. With that being said, I do think this is an incredible cream. It's a little bit pricey, I will say. I believe it's around 120 USD. So for that reason, I'm not in a rush to repurchase this, but it does serve its purpose. I have other intense creams that I'm kind of working through. So I don't feel like I absolutely need this in my skincare routine but I did really enjoy it for its purpose. The next product I have here is quite popular. This is the Pharmacy Honey Halo Ultimate Hydrating Ceramide Moisturizer. And I really love the packaging. I love the glass. I love the wooden top. I just think all around, this looks really adorable. I love the packaging. So this moisturizer is definitely a lighter moisturizer. I feel like this does a really good job of protecting and repairing the skin barrier. This isn't the most deep hydrating moisturizer ever. So I would say this moisturizer would be better for summertime or for individuals with oilier skin. I think this would be a better match. 
For me personally, although I did enjoy it, I mostly use this in the summertime. For regular use, I tend to gravitate to more heavy, thicker, deeply hydrating moisturizers. And this one is definitely a bit lighter, so I'm not really rushing to repurchase it, but as a summer moisturizer, maybe next year, this would be a contender for me. I do actually really like this moisturizer and it's clean. So as you can see, clean products are the ones I typically gravitate towards these days, so yeah. So I didn't know whether to include this in cleansers or moisturizers, but I'm gonna include it in the moisturizers because that's mostly what I used it for. This is the Living Libations C Buckthorn Best Skin Ever Cleanser Moisturizer. And these formulas are so, so good. This is a super clean product. All their products are really focused on clean formulations. And I, loved this. As a facial oil, I honestly don't think I've loved a facial oil more than this. You can use this as a cleanser, an oil cleanser if you want, but to be honest, I mainly just use it as a facial oil. It left my skin feeling so soft and supple and moisturized. I just really enjoyed this product, so I 100% would repurchase. I have a ton of skin oils that I'm working through right now, so that's why I haven't repurchased it already. But when I need to re-up on skin oil, I will definitely be going to Living Libations and buying this one. It's just so good. I think for all skin types, this is just a really great product. So now I'm gonna move into some facial treatments, more targeted treatment style skincare. So I'm gonna talk about a couple retinols. This first one is by Kiehl's. This is their Retinol Skin Renewing Daily Microdose Serum. And to this day, I think this is my favorite retinol that I've ever used. It comes in really nice glass packaging, feels really high quality, but the formula of this retinol was just amazing. When I applied it to my skin, I felt like when I woke up in the morning, because I would apply it at night, I would notice such a visible difference in my skin. It just felt like all the moisture in my skin like came to the surface. My skin looked glowy and dewy and it would really help fight anti-aging in my opinion. I would just notice my skin seemed tighter and smoother and just I really noticed a big difference when I was using this product and that doesn't really happen to me very often. The second retinol I have to talk about is by Burst. This is their Press Restart Gentle Retinol Serum. And I would describe this as a beginner retinol. This is a low dosage of retinol and it's actually combined with Bakuchiol, I think that's how you pronounce that. But anyways, this is just a really good intro to retinols if you've been wanting to try them out. This is a good one, although I feel like I've kind of graduated from the beginner retinol phase, so I personally won't be repurchasing this, but I really can't recommend this enough for people wanting to get into it. I just think it's a great price point, it's effective, and it's a really good way, like I mentioned, to just get into the retinol kind of routine. The last treatment I wanna talk about is by SkinCeuticals. This is their Phyto A Plus Brightening Treatment. And I actually worked with SkinCeuticals to promote this product. I loved this treatment. I went through this so fast. I was wearing it all the time. I really noticed a huge difference in the overall tone of my skin when I use this. If you have uneven skin, if you have dark spots, if you're looking for just an overall brighter complexion, this is the product for you. It is just so good. And it's another one of those products that actually makes a visible difference in a very short amount of time. I feel like SkinCeuticals is just such a reputable company. All of their products that I've tried have been phenomenal. So yeah, I would definitely repurchase this. I also just wanna mention this also comes in glass. So SkinCeuticals products are definitely not cheap, but they're definitely 100% worth every penny. I just feel like they're very high quality in terms of packaging and their products actually do what they say they're gonna do. And that's one of the most important things to me when I'm thinking about what kind of skincare products I wanna repurchase. Moving on to eye creams. The first one I wanna talk about is by Priory. Again, this is their R Spinosome Ultimate Eye Cream. And I loved this eye cream. I used every last drop. When I was using this eye cream, I would use it day and night, all the time. It would wear beautiful under makeup. 
It is a little bit pricey, but I do feel like this brand is really impressive with their before and after results of people using this product. I actually felt like in my opinion, this did a good job of smoothing out my under eye fine lines. I did feel like it made a difference while I was using it, which is kind of a big deal in my opinion. It just did a great job wearing under makeup, hydrating my eyes. It was super comfortable. It didn't feel heavy on my eyes. I just really enjoyed using this product. The next eye cream I have here is by Glam Glam. This is their Bright Eyes Illuminating Anti-Fatigue Eye Cream. I'm always a little bit hesitant with the eye creams that claim to like brighten and depuff and correct your under eye bags and illuminate your face, but this one is pretty good. I wouldn't necessarily say this is going to be like your saving grace for your under eye bags, but this does actually do a good job of really brightening and illuminating that area. So it gives the illusion of more awake under eyes. I would say if you do have darker under eyes and you struggle with that kind of thing, this is actually a pretty good option for you. This lasted me a really long time. I would actually repurchase this one. I have tried other ones that I didn't like as much, like for example, the Origins eye cream that kind of claims to do the same thing to brighten under your eyes. I didn't find it made the biggest difference and it didn't wear great under makeup for me. Whereas this one, I actually did see the effect and it wore really nice under makeup. So yeah, I would repurchase this. The next thing I wanna talk about is acne care. These are from Zit Sticka. I have their Goo Getter Spot Clarifying Dots and I have their Killa Micro Dart Patch for the Deep Newfound Zit. And I used these both up. I actually used these up really, really quickly. Every time I had a zit that was kind of like deep in there, which is normally the kind of acne I would say that I get. It's always the worst when you get those because you wanna pick them so bad, but they're deep under the skin and you're just gonna demolish your skin if you pick them. So these, really saved me a lot of damage to my skin. I actually really like the micro dart needles that you can push into your skin. Some people get a little freaked out by it, but I just love it and actually felt like they were super effective at skipping past that phase of the zit like surfacing and becoming a scar and all that stuff. I would just apply one of these for a night, maybe two nights if it was really bad and my zit would be non-existent anymore. So I would 100% rebuy these specifically the Killa micro darts these are really really good these goo getter spots don't get me wrong they're good but they're no different than kind of any hydrocolloid I think that's how you say it any of those kind of surface level zit patches these are more for the surface level zit so like a whitehead if I'm being completely honest if my zit gets to the whitehead stage I'm picking it. I'm popping it immediately. I do not have that kind of self-discipline. But I did use all of these and I would recommend using these instead of picking at your face for obvious reasons. But yeah, these, uh, I just didn't feel like they were as special as the Killa patches. I personally wouldn't repurchase these hydrocolloid patches. I feel like there are more affordable options out there. Another thing I didn't particularly love about these zit patches is they are very small. So if you had a bit of a bigger surface area you wanted to cover or if you had two near one another, one little patch wouldn't really be big enough. So that's the one critique I have for these. By the way, everything that I'm talking about today is going to be linked down below. So if you want to check anything out that I mentioned, check it out there. Also, just a quick disclaimer, just because I love these products or didn't love these products, it doesn't mean that you won't love them or that you might not like them. This is just my opinion. If you have a similar skin type to me or a similar style in products, then you're probably gonna like these products, but I recommend you always do your own research before making a purchase. Anyways, I'm going to move on to cleansers. This is honestly one of my favorite cleansing balms. This is the Pharmacy Sweet Apple Clean Melt Away Cleansing Balm. If you're sensitive to coconut, you might not like this one because I believe the base is coconut oil, but any one of these Melt Away Cleanser Balms from Pharmacy, I just love. This is a clean product. This does an amazing job at removing your makeup. This removes waterproof makeup, heavy makeup. It just takes everything off effortlessly. So 100% I would repurchase this. I have a couple more cleansing bombs that I'm working through at the moment, but I will be purchasing this again, 100%. This is very good. Another cleanser that I actually really enjoyed using is the Coco Kind Oat to Milk Cleanser. I actually kept this one in my shower, so I would usually use this on a clean face just to kind of nourish my skin and remove any 
impurities or dirt or whatever from my face. This would come out sort of like a gel, but once you massaged it in between your palms, it would change into this kind of milky, almost like a cleansing balm kind of texture, but it's lighter and I feel like this did a really good job of just protecting my skin barrier. In the morning or at night when my skin was relatively clean, I didn't need to remove any makeup. I really liked this because it protected my skin barrier. It didn't strip my skin. I would 100% repurchase this. I really enjoyed this one as well. The next cleanser I want to talk about is by Clay de Poe. This is their softening cleansing foam. And this is a very luxury product. This is an expensive product. And I'm just going to be completely honest. I don't think I would repurchase this. I did like it. It smelled really good. It felt luxury, but this just stung my eyes. And this just really stands out about my experience with this product. I kept this in my shower and I didn't really use it to remove super heavy makeup, but it was kind of the opposite experience to the previous product I talked about, the Coco kind. This felt a little bit stripping on my skin. It was a little bit harsh and again, it just stung my eyes. I did finish it, but I wouldn't necessarily repurchase this. I don't think this one is worth it. I think you could probably find another one that's a better price that would just be better in my opinion. The next cleanser I finished is the Youth to the People Kale and Green Tea Spinach Vitamins Superfood Cleanser. And I love that it comes in a glass bottle personally and a pump. It's just easy to use, no mess, love that. I also really love the formula of this cleanser. This is a great gentle cleanser. I would use this primarily for a double cleanse method. So I would go over my face with a cleansing balm and then follow up with this and my skin would just feel so clean but not stripped. So I really really do like this one. I genuinely think this cleanser is good for all skin types. I think anyone would love this cleanser. I just think it's great. So I'm going to move on to body care products. Starting off with some of my favorite body washes ever. These are from Kopari. So these two are body washes and this one is a body oil. I would say I prefer the body wash formula. I like the body wash oil, but I don't think I would repurchase it. I think I'm just more of a foaming body wash girly. Nothing against this, but that's just my opinion. This is better for like shaving and stuff like that. These though, oh my gosh, these smelled so good. I enjoyed using these so much. The coconut latte body wash smells like a dream. I honestly just wanted to eat it every time. I cannot wait to repurchase this. This is probably one of my most memorable body washes that I've ever used. Mm, it just smells exactly like what it says. It smells like coconut latte. <sighs> Yeah, I need to repurchase this. The Tahitian vanilla was really good as well, but personally, I'm just a huge fan of the coconut latte scent. If I'm gonna repurchase one of those, it's gonna be that one, but if you like vanilla, this one's really good too. The next body wash I wanna talk about is by Necessaire. This is the body wash. This is the eucalyptus scent. This body wash felt really luxurious. I very much enjoyed using this and it lasted a very, very long time. The Kopari ones, I found like I ran through them really quickly. This, I felt like you could stretch it out a lot longer. This straight up smells like a spa. When I smell it, I'm like instantly relaxed. I'm like transported to a Scandinavian spa kind of vibe. It just smells very, very good. I also love the bottle. I don't know if you can really tell, but you just twist this top part and it lifts and you can disperse it like this. There's no cap that you pop off or anything like that. This is super easy to use. Smelling it again makes me miss using this scent just because it's so luxurious. If you want a really luxurious spa experience, this is the body wash for you. All right, moving on to moisturizers. I have a couple that I wanna talk about. I have two from Kopari. I have the Kopari Coconut Body Milk and I have the Kopari Ultra Restore Body Butter. And I love both of these for a different reason. This one is a little bit lighter. This is good for like an everyday vibe. This soaks into your skin so quickly and it smells delicious. I believe I've gone through two or three bottles of this and I think it's obvious I would repurchase this and I think I'll always use this as long as they make this. This is my favorite moisturizer just for every day because I don't like being greasy. I don't like when my moisturizer doesn't absorb into my skin and I just feel like slimy all day. This does not do that, but it's very moisturizing. Okay, but this body butter smells so good. Like I want to eat it. This is really good to put on your skin overnight when you just want to like sit and let the moisturizer sink into your body. This is for like deep hydration. My legs would be like scaly, crusty. You know the vibe when your legs are just 
dry. Put this on for one night and it just takes care of it and it smells so good. I, I can't say enough how delicious this smells. I think this is my favorite body butter. It's a little bit thicker, so it does take longer to absorb into the skin. So if I would wear this during the day, I would apply it. And before I put like my clothes on and everything, I would just kind of sit and let it absorb. It's not greasy. It doesn't kind of linger around all day. You don't feel slimy. It does sink in quite nicely, but not quite as quickly as the other one that I mentioned. It's a bit thicker, a bit more intensive. The last body moisturizer I want to mention is by GoTo Skincare yet again. This is their Skin Party Moisturizer. And I also loved this moisturizer. I know there's a lot of like raving reviews in this video, but if I say I love a product, it really is because I love a product. This one is kind of a middle ground between the two Kopari moisturizers I just talked about. It is heavy hydration, but it's light and absorbs into the skin really nicely. And this is like squeaky clean. All the go-to products are very, very clean formulas. So if that's really important to you, you need to try this brand. This doesn't have a crazy scent or anything like that. I don't really even know if it has fragrance in it. It just smells very natural. So if you're not huge on fragrance, I wouldn't recommend the Kopari ones. I would more so recommend this. This is a lot less fragrance, feels really natural, just really light. Light. I think the only fragrance this has is just from the sweet almond oil. This just smells like sweet almond oil. But yeah, I would definitely repurchase this the next time I place an order from GoTo Skincare. I'm just gonna buy like all of their products because I've tried a bunch of stuff from them and it's all incredible. And I really like that they're clean products. So yeah. To end off this video, I'm gonna talk about a hair care product. I know this doesn't really fit in with the skincare vibe, but I did wanna put this in. This is the K18 Leave-In Molecular Repair Hair Mask, and this is worth every penny. Yes, this is expensive, but this lasts a very long time, and this does such a good job of smoothing my frizzy hair. I used to just struggle with frizzy hair all the time. And I know this is kind of made for damage, so if you have hair that's been treated, bleached, dyed, I think this mask would be all the more better for you. But for me, I really just use it for a leave-in conditioner, moisture, smoothing of frizz, and I use this every single time I shower. So I'll shower, towel dry my hair, have it be a little bit damp, and then I will massage this and run it through my hair. And yeah, it just works really amazing. It is a high price point, but I will keep repurchasing this. I just can't see myself not using it because it's made such a visible difference in my hair. All right, and that is it for part one. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. If you're looking to buy some products in the future, I hope this video could help you choose the right product for you. A lot of these were overwhelmingly positive reviews, which if you think about it, makes sense because if I'm gonna run through a whole entire product, it's probably gonna be something I really like. Some of these products were gifted to me. Some of them were purchased with my own money. But at the end of the day, I try to stay super unbiased and not let that aspect shape my opinion. So yeah, I just wanted to give you guys my honest review of my empties. If you haven't already, do not forget to hit all the buttons, hit the thumbs up button, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification so you don't miss out on any future videos. Again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.